Welcome back, everybody, to the beautiful community of Cologne, Minnesota. We are in Carver County, not too far outside of the metro here, and it is a beautiful day for baseball. The Cologne Hollanders will take on the Plato Blue Jays first pitch 730. But we've been out here live all afternoon getting to know the people and the town, and it has been phenomenal. They've been so welcoming. This is all about community. This is all about uh, small town baseball. And we have a really special family here that we're going to be talking to, Jimmy. Yeah, no doubt about it. We've got the guys here. Brandon and Bob. Yep. Yes. And the field is named after your grandfather. My father. Your father, his grandfather. And you look at what... What would your what would your dad say about what's happening here today? Uh, he would be so impressed as how the community has has adopted this team and, and just adopted baseball in general. I mean, you have to give a lot of credit to Craig Pexa who has, has taken upon himself to right. do a lot of these things. But dad would be very very proud. All right, so you had a pretty easy commute to the ballpark, Brandon, because it's. Your house is right across the street. We're showing it to the folks at home. Can we show the folks at home? I mean, this is crazy. It is literally, what, 100 feet? That's, uh, that's, where, <laughs> that's where my grandpa's house was. Yeah, but. That's where I grew up. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. And that's, that's how we got started in baseball. <laughs> wow. So talk about the next generation as we look forward here. What does it look like for your family and the Hollanders? Well, my dad played four decades for Cologne. That's my ultimate goal. So I have about, I got to play till. 2030 and I'll be four decades and then my sister has four boys and we signed them to a futures contract so <laughs> their, their hope their love coming to the games being part of the um, community as well chasing fall balls so hopefully someday we'll see them in orange as well and it's a dollar a foul ball so it's worth chasing them nowadays That's right nowadays yes five bucks in the fifth inning don't tell the kids though <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll pocket one and bring it back they'll wait for that fifth inning. when you look at this did you see your son being a baseball player did you see that this was yeah. the path for him well yeah he, it, baseball has been so big part of my life i coach a little league I, uh, I played for, like Brandon said, four decades. And just coming up, yeah, I knew he was going to be a ball player. You know, and, and the grandsons now, too. I mean, you can see they just got baseball in their heart, you know. And you look at this, you're looking at the two guys that brought Cologne to the state tournament. 72, right. 19, right? Yep. So which team would win if the 72 pl team played the night? <laughs> uh, we had better pitching. Is that right? Hey, I got to ask you guys, what do you think your dad would think about this, about town ball being recognized in this way? I don't think he would have ever envisioned that it would come to this. You know, I, dad coached back probably the early 70s was his last games that he coached. You know, town team baseball has come so far since that. Uh, the community involvement. Dad, dad would just be really happy to see that it came this far. And, and Brandon, when you know you're the younger generation, right? You're the ones that are going to carry this sport on. Are you surprised that it continues to grow and continues to flourish in this kind of society where everybody's on Snapchat and TikTok and right. things that attract your attention for 30 seconds and that seems like a long time? A little bit, but in our community itself, I think the 2019 state tournament run brought a lot of people out. And the fact that it's a growing town and um, also the 2020 COVID season when people are trying to get something to do to get outside, I think they realize how fun it is to be part of the community and how much town ball means to this city. Yeah, well, you guys done a great job. This field wouldn't be here without right. uh, your family. So congratulations on what you built here. Yeah. Thank you for sharing part of the Hollander's tradition and part of your family's tradition with us as well. We, we love it. All right, All right. we want to uh, find Ian. He is out and about somewhere. Yeah, I've heard you. he might be in the bouncy house. Is that true, Ian? Well, here's the thing. There aren't many bouncy houses that I don't look at and go, oh, got to get in there. But, you know, I'm walking over here and I meet I meet Max and Grant and Max and Grant are like, hey, our, our parents are waiting in the ice cream lineup and we want to go in the bouncy house. And I'm like, bouncy house? What did I say when, when you guys said that? What did I do? I went crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. What did, how, how did my face look when I said it? Um, Show everyone at home my crazy face. Yes, it was... <laughs> 
It was just like that. Let's go in the bouncy house. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're going in the bouncy house. Okay, here we go. Let's help everyone in there. We're helping everybody. Here we go. Go ahead, Max. Go ahead, Grant. By the way, Max and Grant are cousins. Who are you? Cameron. Cameron, get get on in there. The more the merrier. We're going in the bouncy house. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is very unstable. Okay, let's go on to the other side. We're going down the thing. Yes. How come everyone's following me? Oh. What? Oh. Not going to lie to you. It's not near as fun as you think it is. Because it's sticky. Oh, it says no heads first? Yeah. I broke the rules. Suckers. Come on, let's go, Vante. See you back. See you, Grant. Okay, so, wow. Might need to go to the hospital after that, but you want to talk about lineups. We've got plenty of lineups here because the game doesn't start until 7.30. But look, food lineup, ice cream lineup, and everywhere in between. Hi, good evening. Hi. What are you waiting for? Cheese curds. Everyone's waiting for cheese curds. I was told I'm here to cook cheese curds. I'm kidding. You don't want me anywhere near the cheese curds unless I'm eating them. You know what I mean? See what I did there? That's funny. So you got cheese curds. You got fries. You got burgers that have never been frozen, that are peppered, and they're all on the grill. Come on, let's go over to the grill because this guy's working so hard. Yeah, you got to love the, the smoke. It's good, but it smells. I mean, no, yeah. look at some barbecues. You smell it, and you're like, oh. This one, you smell, it and you're like, oh. What's, How many re what's really nice is when the wind is in the right direction, it goes over the field. Oh, yeah, so you're playing second <laughs> base going, I'm a little hungry tonight. Yeah. Uh, on average, what do you think? How many hamburgers will the Hollanders put out on a big night? On a big night, we'll probably do close to 300. Not many? Mm -hmm. Wow. How many tonight? At least that much. Yeah, tonight's <laughs> going to be a big night. It's a town ball tour, man. We don't mess That's around. Right. That's right. You've got, the, uh, you've got the world famous cheese curds going right next door. The burgers actually look amazing. We're going to tear into one of those in just a short while because everybody knows, and don't take this the wrong way because I haven't had one of these yet. Yeah. In the last four years, my number one burger in town ball has been Chaska. We're going to see if you can dethrone the Chaska burgers well, tonight. I, I like Chaska and all, but I think we're I think we're the better burger in Carver County. Oh, this is fighting words. These are burger fighting words. It's burger wars. It's also about the forecast, and the forecast is changing big. For tonight, from, say, St. Cloud down toward areas like Eau Claire and areas off to the north-northeast, there is a severe thunderstorm watch until 8 p.m. tonight. These are marginally strong storms. General threat here has been winds to about 60 miles per hour. We had a couple of very isolated thunderstorms in and around this area in Cologne and the metro. Most of those have dissipated. But look, tomorrow we're back into the storm zone. A slight risk of severe weather. That's level two from the Storm Prediction Center and from the metro into northeast Iowa. A level three enhanced risk of severe weather. It's going to be hot and stormy in a day-to-stay sky wear. And then into the weekend, stay jacket aware. It's going to get cool, my friends. So with that word cool, trying to describe where we are next to the grill, I'm going to send you to a quick break. The Fox 9 News at 530 continues from the great town of Cologne. Hollander baseball on the Fox 9 Town Ball Tour is back right after this.